Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we would be using a NE555 timer using the GIGAT tool in order to simulate the flashing LED circuit. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share, subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Double click on the flashing LED file and click on place symbol. Now place this particular symbol on the schematic window from the global library type NE555 timer and place this particular NE555 timer on the schematic window. Right click click on properties edit property define the reference as u1 and click on edit spice model we have to define the model for any triple five timer so select the any triple five timer library and type as sub circuit click ok so now we have defined the model file for any triple five timer next we have to place the resistor and the capacitor which would determine the duty cycle for this particular design so place the resistor r on this particular schematic window again place a resistor so we will define this as resistor R1 and R2. We also require a capacitor. So type C and select the polarized capacitor for this particular circuit design. Now place this components as shown in this tutorial. Next, we have to place a resistor that particular resistor would be placed across the diode or an LED in this particular example now place the LED on the schematic window now we have to change the orientation and the aspect of this particular diode so click on reference that is D1 select the orientation as minus 90 and for this particular design uh, we have to also define the aspect so we will define this as mirror around as Y axis now again right click on the diode and click on properties edit property now change the orientation as minus 90 so we have defined the particular diode now we have to make the connections so click on wire and uh, we have to connect the output of NE555 timer to the resistor and from the resistor to the diode D1 now click on place port and place the port or the ground connection across the diode D1 and also place the ground connection across the terminal 1 of triple 5 timer next click on place symbol and we have to place a voltage source so type P spice and select the voltage source Now right click on the voltage source and click on properties, edit property, define the reference as PCC and define the value as 0. Now click on edit spice model, define the DC voltage as 9 volt. Next we have to place the label which would be the global label. 
So click on place global label and define this particular label as BCC. Define the label. Let us place a ground connection. So click on place port and place the ground connection on the schematic window. Click on wire, connect the VCC label to the voltage source and the ground connection. Now we must also place the label across the pin number 8 that is VCC and also label VCC across pin number 4 of triple five timer. Now also place a global label VCC across the resistor next click on wire and connect the VCC to pin number 8 VCC to pin number 4 and ground to pin number 1 connect VCC to resistor from resistor to second resistor and from resistor to the capacitor right click on resistor click on property edit property define the reference as R1 define the value as 1 mega ohm again define the reference as R2 define the value as 1 mega ohm and click OK right click on capacitor click on properties edit property define the reference as CP1 define the value as 1.5 nano farad now click on place port and place the ground connection across the capacitor C1 now connect the wire ac across the LED and to the ground now connect the wire from pin number 7 between resistor R1 and R2 and pin number 6 to resistor R2 and capacitor C1 next click on place symbol and select the capacitor C1 now place this particular capacitor now connect the pin number 5 of triple 5 timer right click on capacitor and select edit property define the reference as C2 and define the value of 0 0.01 microfarad now click on wire connect the terminal number 5 to capacitor and the terminal 2 to the pin number 6 of triple 5 timer now click on place port and place the ground connection across the capacitor C2 next we have to define the resistor value so right click click on properties edit property define the reference as R3 and define the value as 470 ohm now we have to perform the transient analysis so click on graphic text and place this particular graphic text or the transient syntax that is dot tran 1 micro 10 millisecond 5 millisecond and the initial condition place this on the schematic window next right click on diode d1 click on properties edit property define the reference as d1 click on edit spice model and select the led so click on models and select qtl p690c which is the diode using for this particular circuit define the alternate node sequence as 1 and 2 click ok now 
click on tools click on simulator run this particular simulation click on probe place the probe across the output and the capacitor current flows to C1 through resistor R1 and R2. The amount of time C1 takes to charge up to two-thirds of VCC is both affected by overall resistance R1 and R2 and the size of capacitor C1 which determines the length on portion of cycle. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.